the question 9 given that magnitude A equals to 3, magnitude B equals to 4, A dot B equals to 10, and A cross B equals to I plus BJ plus 2K. So question A, find A minus B cross A plus B. So for first product, kita boleh expand. Okay, so this is our question. Cross A plus B. So kita akan expand. Pada masa kita expand, kena hati-hati ikut betul-betul dia punya position dia. So, A cross A plus A cross B minus B cross A minus B cross B. Okay, next kita akan gunakan properties. A cross B equals to negative B cross A. Okay, so this one. Kita akan tukar kepada negatif A cross B. So, dia akan jadi negatif-negatif lah. Okay, so terus macam ni. So, negatif, negatif A cross B. Okay, then, satu lagi properties. A cross A equals to B cross B equals to zero vector. Dan kenapa? Sebab... If A adalah sama ataupun parallel, bila kita cross product kan, kita akan dapat 0. So, 0 plus A cross B minus negative A cross B minus 0. So, kita akan dapat 2 A cross B. Then, from the question, we have uh, vector A cross B. So, masukkan I plus 3J plus 2K. So, that will get the final answer. 2i plus 6j plus 4k. So next for question B, a minus b dot a plus b. So this is our question. A plus b. So macam sama, kita expand. So a dot a plus a dot b minus b dot a minus b dot B. So, properties yang kita akan guna kat sini adalah A dot B equals to B dot A. Kita balik dengan cross ni. Eh. Kalau cross kita ada negatif. Kalau dot, sama. Then, another one is A sorry A dot A equals to magnitude A square. So, also B dot B equals to magnitude B square. So, tukarkan plus A dot B minus A dot B minus magnitude B square. So, from here, we have from the question magnitude A equals to 3. So, 3 square plus A dot B minus A dot B is 0. Then, minus magnitude B square. So, 4 square. So, here we'll get negative 7. Moving to question C, magnitude A plus B. So, dekat sini, kita tak boleh nak expand, tak boleh nak buat apa. Tapi, kita ada satu uh, properties. A dot A, kita dah tengok dekat question B tadi. Lepas tu, magnitude A square. So, dekat sini, kita ada A dot B. A, sorry, A plus B. Magnitude A plus B. So, kita akan gunakan properties dot ini. But then, kita akan wujudkan square. Kenapa kita nak wujudkan square? Sebab kalau kita wujudkan square, baru kita boleh jadikan di dalam bentuk dot. So that, dia akan jadi A plus B dot A plus B. Okay? So, kita yang wujudkan square tu. So, bila kita dah ada dot, kita akan expand plus A dot B plus b dot a plus b dot b and similarly dengan question b so magnitude a square plus a dot b plus sorry a dot b juga a dot b plus magnitude b square so we have 3 square plus 2 a dot b plus 4 square. So, we have A dot B. From the question, we dapat 10. So, 3 square plus 2 times 10 plus 4 square 
kita akan dapat 45. So, masa kita kat sini lah. This is for magnitude A plus B square. Okay. So, ini eh. Yang kita dapat. Kita 45. So, kita nak magnitude A plus B sahaja. So, dia akan jadi set 45. Okay. Dan for question 9. Okay, question 10. Magnitude U plus B equals to 5. Magnitude U minus B equals to 1. Find U dot V by using property A dot A equals to magnitude A square. So, soalan ni dia akan sama dengan question number 9C. Okay. Kita akan wujudkan square pada magnitude so that kita boleh uh, jadikan dia sebagai something dot something. So, let's start with magnitude U plus V. So, we have on the question magnitude U plus V equals to 5. So, kita akan squarekan both side. Okay, so that we'll get magnitude u plus v square equals to 5 square. Then, since magnitude a square equals to a dot a, so here we can get u plus v dot u plus v equals to 25. Okay, so expand. So, u dot u plus u dot v plus v dot u plus v dot v equals to 25. Okay, then u dot u magnitude u square plus u dot v plus v dot u equals to u dot v sama plus magnitude v square. So, here we'll have magnitude u square plus 2u dot v plus magnitude v square equals to 25. So, this is question 1. Then, kita akan buat untuk magnitude u minus v. So, magnitude u minus v equals to 1. Square kan both side. So, that will get u minus v dot u minus v equals to 1. So, u dot u expand minus u dot v minus v dot u minus v dot v equals to 1. So, magnitude u square magnitude, eh, sorry, u dot v, again, v dot u equals to u dot v, u dot v minus magnitude v square equals to 1. So, we'll get take u square minus 2 u dot v minus magnitude v square equals to 1. So, this is question 2. So, sekarang kita nak cari u dot v. So, apa yang kita akan buat? Equation 1. Kita akan tolak equation 2. Okay, so this is equation 1. 2 u dot v plus magnitude v square 25, kita akan minuskan dengan version 2 plus magnitude v square equals to 1, so tolak so this one habis this one habis so 2 minus minus so for u dot v plus 2, 25 minus 1 24 then u dot v 24 divided by 4 dapat 6. Dah siap untuk question 10. Moving to question 11. Given three vectors u, v and w. Okay, so find alpha if u and v are perpendicular. So dekat sini kita akan gunakan u and v are perpendicular. If u dot v equals to 0. Okay. So, kita akan dotkan u dan v. So, u dot v equals to 8 negative 2, 5. Dotkan dengan 2, 3 alpha equals to 0. So, 8 times 2. Ini adalah dot product yang biasa. Cuma so, kita jadikan dia 0. Eh, sorry plus 5 alpha equals to 0. 
So, 16 minus 6, so 10 plus 5, alpha equals to 0. So, from here we get alpha equals to negative 2. So, question B, find beta if u and w are parallel. So, u and w parallel, then u equals to lambda w. Okay, apa maksud dia? Maksudnya, setiap um, komponen dalam u, bila kita darabkan dengan al alpha, kita akan dapat w. Okay, so kita tulis macam ni lah. U equals to lambda, sorry, lambda, saya sebut alpha kat tadi. Okay, u kita ada 8 negative 2, 5. 5. So, equals to lambda, so what is w? Negative 4, 1, beta. So, bila dia parallel, setiap kali kita uh, comparekan komponen i, komponen j dan komponen k, lambda dia akan dapat sama. Ok, so jom kita buat i. So, bila kita comparekan komponen i, kita akan dapat lambda, eh, 8, 8, plus 2, negative 4, lambda. So, from here we get lambda plus 2, negative 2. So, similarly, untuk j pun, negative 2 plus 2, lambda kan? Maksudnya dapat sama. Ha, kejap saya tulis lah. Aku tak faham. Ok. So, komponen J negatif 3 plus 1 lambda times 1. So, lambda equals to negatif 2. So, akan dapat sama. So, maksudnya, bila dia parallel, lambda untuk setiap IJK pun mesti akan sama. So, therefore, 5 equals to, masukkan lambda equals to negatif 2 times beta. So, from here, beta, sorry. Ok. Beta is equals to negatif 5 over Dah siap Ok, question of A Given three vectors A, B and C Find the value of beta such that A is perpendicular to B So, dekat sini kita tahu If A is perpendicular To B So, therefore A dot B Plus to 0 So, kita masukkan vektor A Dotkan dengan vektor B 2 beta 4 Dot 0, 1, negative 3 Ok, efekkan dengan 0 So, 2 times 0 Plus beta times 1 Plus 4 times negative 3 Plus to 0 Then, kita akan dapat Beta equals to negative 12 Eh, sorry, beta equals to 12 So, moving to question B a cross B equals to C. So, we have A cross B equals to C. So, kita akan crosskan A dan B. Okay. So, what is vector A? 2 beta 4. What is vector B? 0, 1, negative 3. So, what is vector C? We have 5i plus 6j plus 2k. So, comparekan tutup row dan column i. We'll get negative 3 beta minus 4. Tutup column J. Tapi untuk J, kita mesti letak di negative. So, we'll get negative 6 plus 0. Tutup column K. We'll get 2 minus 0. 5i plus 6j plus 2k. Then, simplify. We'll get negative 3 beta minus 4i plus 6j plus 2k equals to 5i plus 6j plus 2k. So, just compare this one. Negative 3 beta minus 4 equals to 5. Negative 3 beta equals to 9. Beta equals to negative 3. Then, for question number